My mom was a food writer. That's really where I really started to learn to cook. My dad gets a really bad rap in this whole thing. He was cool and he was around and he can cook. He pulled me aside because I tell the story about my mom all the time. He was like, hey dude, can you just say that I was around and I was cool? <laughs> you, you can give your mom all the credit in the world, but it sounds like I was the worst dad ever. I'm like, nah, okay, it's cool. So he was cool. <laughs> My name is Erling Wu Bauer. I'm the chef at Pacific Standard Time in Chicago. We are going to make breaded chicken wings. That's a celebration of fish sauce and sugar. And then we're gonna make shameless ranch. The key to these wings is the marinating process. They're like fish sauce napalm wings. Fish sauce is very salty and uh, it penetrates meat really well. Let's marinate them up. So we're gonna take a half a cup of fish sauce, dump this in here. And this is warm water because it's gonna help dissolve this insane amount of sugar over here. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. And then this is Thai yellow curry. You can use whatever curry paste floats your boat. Red curry is really good in this. Masaman curry is really good in this. So we're gonna do about what looks like a tablespoon of curry. And then we're just gonna whisk the hell out of this until all the sugar dissolves. It smells like fish rotting on a dock in Vietnam, which is incredible. Mm. All right, so now we're gonna take these chicken wings. We're gonna put these in here. And don't be scared. I'm gonna dip your hands into this chickeny fish sauce thing and get a little bit crazy. All right, so this is gonna sit for ideally 48 hours in your refrigerator. 24 hours is cool, and I know this is a bit scary to say, but if for some reason you have to do it day of, it needs to sit out at room temperature for two hours. If we were doing this legit in Thailand, it would sit out at room temperature for two or three hours, right? So, but if it spends more time in the in the cooler, it'll let the the marinade will get really deep. So, that's the idea here. You ink. Now we're gonna make the glaze that the wings go into after they fry. So very similar to the marinade that we made. This is something that we frequently do at Pacific Standard Time is we reinforce what we had to say with the marinade with a glaze or with a vinaigrette. Layers of flavor are great. So we're just gonna take half a cup of warm water, three quarters of a cup of sugar, and then half a cup of fish sauce. Seems insane. We're gonna whisk this until the sugar is dissolved. A couple of limes, just some lime juice. So yeah. We made the glaze, which we're gonna see later. And now we're making just a very simple dredge for the wings. We have white rice flour and tempura mix, and we're gonna mix these two things together for a very simple dredge on the wings. Nothing, nothing special here. That's it. This is just a straight up classic mayo and buttermilk ranch. We serve this with the pizzas at Pacific Standard Time, but cooks discovered that these fish sauce sweet wings and this ranch go together when at the end of the night they would fry off wings for themselves and just shamelessly take the squeeze bottle of ranch and, and just squirt it all over these wings and they just would bring it to me and they'd be like, check this out, it's so good. It's Americana meets Thai chicken wings. It's okay to mix. <laughs> so this is Hellman's mayonnaise. Cool Whip sucks. <laughs> you can make your own aioli, we do that at the restaurant too, but in this application it makes no sense. I can't believe I can do this and be called a chef. One cup of mayonnaise. One cup of buttermilk. A desired amount of Tabasco sauce, right? This is completely up to you. You have your bottle of Tabasco sauce, do what you will, but I like it. More granulated garlic than you know is okay. This is a tablespoon and a half. Granulated onion, tablespoon. And then we're just gonna mix all this stuff together. And then we have chives, parsley, and dill. So we're gonna take all of these herbs. It's a tablespoon of each, but I mean, it's really hard to have too many herbs. So now we're gonna taste this bad boy, because drinking ranch is cool. See if it needs a little bit more salt, which it does. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk a little bit about equipment and deep frying at home because it's intimidating. It's easy to do at home, but there's a couple things that you need and there's some safety that we should talk about. One, you need a really nice pot that can sustain heat. Number two, this is a candy thermometer. There's plenty of them out there. The really cool part about this is there's a clip on the side of it that clips to the pan and you're gonna, it's gonna stay in there while you fry. You need some sort of frying oil. Canola oil works as well. Peanut oil works incredibly well. And then this brilliant and cheap Chinatown purchase called the Spider. All right, so we're about there. We're we're about at 350. This is an inherently dirty process. You just have to deal with it. We have our dredge that we made earlier. We have a bowl. We're gonna pull our wings from the refrigerator. So you wanna do this in small batches. You're gonna have a bowl. You're gonna put a little bit of the dredge in here. So we're gonna mix the wings one more time. And we're gonna put the wings using these tongs, shaking off as much marinade as we can into the dredge. So now we're just gonna mix these. We're not looking for Kentucky Fried Chicken here. We're looking for just a very light dusting 
We are officially at 370, which is fine because these wings are huge and they're gonna drop the temperature of this oil quite drastically. So please, very carefully, drop these wings in the fryer. You want your hood on, high. So now we're just gonna let this deep fry. These are raw wings, they're gonna take a good long time to cook and we're gonna cook them till like a nice dark golden brown. Burn is good, like pushing things to the levels of burn yields great food. So we're gonna get in here and just in case agitate every now and again, I wanna make sure that every wing is kind of its own individual entity. Now we're gonna monitor the heat a little bit too. And we dropped, honestly, we dropped to exactly 350. I'm gonna say these will take about seven to eight minutes. How I tell is cook the wings. When you say they're starting to burn, cook them for another 30 seconds. Right, and that's how you know. And then they're done, right? It's very hard to overcook a chicken wing. It can be done. It is very easy to undercook a chicken wing. All right, so now we're gonna do our wingettes. In between batches, you need to let your oil come back up to temperature. All right, so we're back up to 350. And once again, one at a time, very carefully. So we're just gonna fry these until they're the same color as those. Simple enough. All right, so the wings are of the same shade now, you'll see. And we're all done. Now we're going to take these wings and we're gonna combine the glaze with the wings. Important, you don't want this pan to be super hot when the wings go in because you really want the wings to spend as much time with the glaze as possible. So we're just gonna put all these wings in this pan. We're gonna put enough glaze to kind of cover the bottom of this pan in here. About like yay. And then as soon as the glaze goes in, we're gonna put it over the top of the heat and then you're going to be perfectly willing with getting your kitchen dirty because we're gonna work these, this glaze into this wing. You're gonna do that by just tossing them and it's gonna splash everywhere and it's just gotta be okay with you. So now we can see that this fish sauce caramel, which is basically what you're making right now, is starting to boil. But you just wanna continuously turn these wings. And this is where the tempura mix comes in because the first time people do this, they're like, well, aren't the wings getting soggy? But the tempura mix is such that it's gonna keep these wings crispy as we continue to toss them, so. And yeah, the sauce is getting much thicker as we go here. You see the bubbles start to increase in size on the caramel, that means you're doing the right thing. You can see it's starting to disappear. The glaze is going down, it's essentially gone. All right, so we have our wings on a plate. I love a couple limes. And then the cook special ranch over here. That's it. They're good. So see all this stuff on the top of the wing? It's good, it's like a potato chip. Proper wingette eating technique. Thick side, dip in the ranch. Take one bite. Twist the bones and separate the bones. Ignore the fact that double dipping is bad. Clean bone. That's it. <laughs> it's a boneyard. <laughs>